excited to talk to you today um, on a, a SUFA, a solar powered bench where you can charge your phone. So I'll be able to, I'd be able to put on my, my phone. Yeah, here yeah, you can see, so it's basically charging. Um, right now you have to go online on sufa.co yeah. and then you will see a map of all the benches which are distributed in Boston and Cambridge and um, there you see each and every SUFA which actually each one of them has a name. Yeah. Um, and then you can click on them and see how many people are using it, how many people um, are charging their phones, how much renewable energy did that park actually generate. I also think it's a way for us to educate the public on the environment, on all the initiatives we have. If they, if they get into the habit of checking the air quality and the other things that we can do on this, it will help us with, with what we're trying to do as far as having sustainable communities. It's funny, solar power is always so removed from us. Yep. Like it's on the it's on, on the, the roof. roofs, you yep. don't see it, right? Yep. And so for now, it's like one of the first times where we actually bring it down to the ground and show people, okay, so there's the sun and it hits this solar panel and then juice comes out from my phone. Yeah, it's pretty cool, yeah, right? it's really good. And also kids playing basketball here can't use the excuse of telling their mother they, their phone died. <laughs> That's true. Plug it in. <laughs> For the first time, we really have tools which are accessible to everyone. And so what I actually want to point out, it's funny, so, so the, um, where these USB ports are in this part yep. is actually 3, 3D printed on a, on a Formlabs printer. So we have access to 3D printing machines and so we can basically just go ahead and print a part we need. And this is now accessible to, to everyone and we yep. can really start making things. So really we're coming from this maker movement where we start putting things together and everything is actually made locally with manufacturers from Massachusetts, for yep. example. We're creating a space in the Fernand building, a startup space uh, in, in the heart of Roxbury to give people the opportunity to be able to come and use their creativity to hopefully create um, great things. I mean, you know, I, I look at parks and thank you for being here in a Boston park first because you know, our technology constantly changes here. I mean, even when it comes to tot lots for kids, it used to be sand and it went to wood chips and now it's the foam. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really, it's, you know, it's innovation. It's a different type of innovation, but we we'll always have to innovate in, in, in public spaces. It's really exciting and, and we're excited in Boston really to, to really bring Boston completely into the 21st century and with all the changes in technology, it seems like we stay ahead of the curve and we want to continue to stay ahead of the curve. Congratulations. We're all continue. And it's a woman-owned business. Yes.